our special guest is Cara Curtin. And uh, we're super, super excited for you guys to meet Cara. Um, I'm looking forward to the conversation as well. Well, I'm Cara, and I grew up in Santa Rosa, California. It's northern California. I went to Santa Rosa Junior College for two years, and I transferred to Sonoma State for the rest of my college career. And played for California Storm there in the WPSL for a few summers. And then in 2016, I went to Switzerland to play for uh, three seasons. And then, yeah, now I'm in Valencia. Just finished my first season. Um, how are you and your you teammates handling the COVID-19 quarantine? Well, I mean, we had to stop going to trainings on, I think it was the last weekend of March. And then at the beginning of April, we started having our, our Zoom training sessions. So that was an adjustment. So trying to make it work, staying in shape still, still doing the Zoom sessions, but I'm in California now, so I can't really attend them. So I do them on my own, yeah. separated from the team. So. You were living and playing in Switzerland before you came to Spain. And how did you find out Valencia wanted to have you play for them? After my third season playing in Switzerland, that I wasn't going to continue playing there anymore. I wanted a new experience. So I think last summer at the end of June, I found out that Valencia wanted me. So I was really excited. I was like, yes. <laughs> was it a difficult decision to join Valencia? No, it was actually a pretty easy decision to make. I wanted... I definitely wanted a new experience with another team and I wanted to play in one of the top leagues in Europe. So Spain is one of them and just, yeah, I was very excited. So it was a very easy decision to make. How different is it playing with Valencia than it was when you were playing in California or like other teams that you played for? Mm -hmm. Valencia is very technical, you know, um, small sided, they like to build up. And um, from the other teams I played on, it was kind of like pass, pass, long ball. You know, like I would be making the long, the long run and they would find me, but it's, I've had to learn to like, that's not the way the Spanish style is. So I had to adjust and like, hey, <laughs> play close, play work. I get better with being more technical for sure. So what other sort of training differences did you see between, or have you seen between, say, Valencia and uh, what you experienced in the States? Yeah, we in Valencia, we're playing a lot of small-sided games, um, like rondos, and then we make bigger rondos, you know, and always playing small-sided, 4v4, you know, 5v5, and just, yeah. We are working on fitness, but it's not as much fitness. Like, we don't have half the practice running than playing, we're doing, you know, we're working in our fitness with playing. And all right. That. So I was wondering if you spoke Spanish before joining Valencia and are you still learning now? I did learn Italian from my previous club in Lugano. And so I feel that, that helped a lot while learning Spanish. And I'm definitely a lot better with Spanish, but I have to practice and speak. Like I can understand it, but talking I freeze and <laughs> I have to get more comfortable with talking to people. What is your schedule like when it comes to training and games? Trainings, we start at 10, but if we have 10 in the morning, and then if we have a weight room, we start at 9 in the morning, but weight rooms, I, it's only twice a week. And, um, and we're usually done before 12, so we have the whole rest of the day to ourselves, which I love. And for games, when we travel, we travel the day before. We take our bus or sometimes the train. And if we have a game in the, if our game's at six o'clock at night, we would train the day before. But if not, we just travel, rest, and yeah, play our game in the morning. Who supported you on your journey to becoming a professional athlete? Definitely my mom. She always been our, well, I say our, my twin and I, you know, our biggest fan. And she just knew 
like I wasn't done playing soccer after college. Like she knew I was gonna be continuing playing. So, and she's still coming to my games, no matter how far away they are. <laughs> she's definitely my number one. Thank you, Cara. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.